Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Daytona 500 for the 2029 NASCAR Cup Series season. We're here getting ready down on pit road for the command, but first, let's take a look at your starting lineup on your front row here tonight. It's going to be Dane Dunn driving the number 42 target Dodge with Marvin Day on his outside in the number 77 for Team Penske. In row number two, we're going to have Chase Briscoe in the number one Dodge. Into his outside it's going to be the number 46 of Dustin Griffith. Good run for those two in qualifying. Moving on down the road, we got Reed Sorensen in the number eight Guitar Hero Dodge and Kyle Larson in the 57 Finley Farms car. Row four, we got A.J. Allmendinger, and in the 15 is going to be Daniel Barry. Pretty good run for him in his 15. And then rounding out your top 10, it is going to be Alex Bowman and A.J. Young in the number seven spam car. With that, we'll go ahead and get them rolling for the command. We'll go back with the rest of your starting lineup. We'll be scrolling on the bottom of your screen. Start your engines! Thirty-nine drivers are ready to get rolling here at Daytona. The rest of your starting order scrolling on your screen as you can see it is going to be 30 laps here today Dane Dunn looking to bring home a win here in speed weeks we'll have to see if he can keep it going got 39 drivers looking to come home with the win today two of the Red Bull cars a little further back here those two are right together though. <clears throat> That's Corey Kraft there in the silver 79 Red Bull car. You can kind of see it there. And then in the car in front of him, that is David Reagan in the 83. Now David Reagan, he's already announced that this is going to be his final season full time. He is going to be retiring after 2029. Looking to go out with a bane here though. Uh, we'll see what he can do. As you can see, there is his car. If you hear a bird in the background, don't mind the bird. All right, cool. Thank you. Dane Dunn looking to get going here. So is Marvin Day for Team Penske. I'll have Chase Briscoe, Dustin Griffith as well. H. Scott Motorsports looking to maybe have a good season for once here. They've shown great improvements over the past few years. But just haven't been able to put it anything together. But here we go. Pace car about to pull off of the speedway. 30 laps here for the Daytona 500. It's going to be green flag this time. Green flag is out here at Daytona. And coming to the line, Dane Dunn leads the opening lap here at Daytona. He had some great onboard action there. As the field already scrambling through line. Here comes Chase Briscoe with a run to the bottom. Not a huge help from behind. AJ Young still there on the bottom. He might be able to help him out here soon. coming into Dane and Dunn up on the top. Matt to Benedetto there in the 16. He's up from pretty far back. Last.
passed the scoring, it looked like he was pretty far down here. He was 7th, actually. But he is up inside the top 5 now. Briscoe to the front of the field. He's going to leave lap number 2. So far, we've had two lead, one lead change, actually. As Matt DiPenedetto, Dustin Griffith, Justin Allgaier are there on the bottom in that number 54 car. I'm just going to say this now, that bird has been quiet all week until now. Just going to throw that out there. This is going to be the mascot of the YouTube channel. As Briscoe coming to lead his second lap of the race. Here comes another cup driver of Alex Bowman. And right behind him is Kyle Larson. It's been pretty clean so far tonight. Briscoe led the opening two laps. After he got the lead from Dane Dunn, who has fallen back pretty far now. Currently scored in the 12th position back there. Three wide for the race lead, almost. Right now, Dustin Griffith is going to take it on the bottom. Marvin Day with a good run in his Toyota Camry. He might have just taken the lead at, right at the second. And here comes the Daner, AJ Allmendinger. In the 91 for Ray Everham. He's looking good. But Dust Dustin Griffith did get credit for leading that lap. Here comes the 79 of Corey Kraft. Huge push from Reed Sorensen. You know, I haven't messed with this car set in probably nine months or so. And I'm surprised I'm still remembering most of the names by paint scheme here. Kraft Sorensen, there's Dustin Flores on the bottom in his number 25. Chevrolet for GMS. Here comes David Reagan in his final Daytona 500. Let's go on board the 83. Beautiful camera. I don't know why, but this this game just looks so good today. And there goes Matty D to the bottom, looking for third. And he's going to be able to get there. Almendinger leads another lap here. So far, we've had four different leaders here. We already have 23 laps to go here in the main events. Here comes Larson to the inside. Not quite able to get there. Corey Kraft may have moved up just a bit. That's going to allow Larson to get to the inside. Same with Marvin Day. Great run for the, the that pair. Dane Dunn, he's trying to get back into the race lead. He was the fifth last time around. He's going to move up to fourth here. As he's still trying to get to third. And he's going to take it this time around. Good run for Dane through one and two. He has the draft. He's going to get up behind his teammate, Reed Sorensen. As those two are going to be two and three. In the next Daring and Bros Racing Car, going to go a little further back to the 15 of Daniel Barry and Chase Briscoe as well, also on DBR. For a full roster, if you guys want to see teams and team ratings, you guys can go ahead and down in the description down in the description below, 
I will likely have a spreadsheet link to the uh, spreadsheet for this. So if you guys want to go ahead and take a look at that, go for it. Or not, up to you. Can Reed Sorensen make a charge on AJ? Don't know, but it looks like Larson looking to the inside. Not able to get there, though. He is also probably going to lose a spot here. Nope, Marvin Day is. Marvin just has no help from behind here. Coming to 10 laps in the books here, we're going to go ahead, go through the field, starting with your current last place driver, Kurt Hicks. Not having a good night, along with Matt Sanchez for 23-11. Also, we got here is Carson Hosevar, that white car on the bottom. The 86 gum out for Tom Fowler there in the 71. These five cars make up the bottom half of the field here. And there's Bobby Merritt. Teammates with the 71. That's why they have very similar paint schemes. There's the 39, or not the 39, the 30 of Keelon Harvick. Honestly, this is probably one of my favorite paint schemes in the entire car set. That and Matt Sanchez. I don't know why, just honestly, I feel like I, those two were the ones I put the most effort into. Here's the 52 of Marty McClure for Kurt Busch Motorsports. Right behind his teammate, the double zero of Reagan Daniel. We got the 55 red and orange car up on the top. That is Ashley Frank. We got Avery Wise in the 56. A lot of Kurt Busch Motorsports cars, actually all four of them are in here. Up front, leading this field, is the 97 of Kevin Snyder. And that white number four Toyota Camry, that is Alexander Curtis. And then Julian Mack there in the 39. Updates for up front, AJ Allmendinger still leads. But here is Jeff Hayes, and his number 69 for JTG and Doherty. And then there's the 87 of Corey. Nope, that is Jaden Salas in the 87, actually. Here's Corey Battle in the 82 car. I can't remember what team he is running for. I want to say Furniture Row. But at the same time, I don't think so. We got Amanda Wade here in the 64 Crown Royal Dodge. And then John Fletcher in the 78 Furniture Row Dodge. So I'm pretty sure. That Corey Battle is in a furniture road car. We got Daniel Suarez and Trevor Bain, two Hendrick Motorsports cars. My voice is starting to wear out here. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. I'm not sure. We got Ross Chastain and the five of Tyler Reddick. All four Hendrick cars are all together here. Austin Hill for Jermaine Racing. A little further back, he's in 17th right now. Justin Allgaier in 16th for GMS. There's Corey Kraft, Christopher Bell, Matt Benedetto, AJ Young, and obviously your the rest of your regulars. Dane Dunn, first car to come to pit road here. He finally had just got back to the race lead. It's gonna be an early pit for the 42 target car. Doesn't look like anybody else is coming down here. Looks like it is just the 42 for pit stops this time around. That gives the lead to, I think that is Chase Briscoe out front. Yes, it is. He's back to the race lead. Remember, he led the first two laps here this morning. And he is back to the race lead now on lap number 14. So we are just about halfway through here. Dustin Flores is coming to pit road now. So is AJ Allmendinger and Reed Sorensen. I think Justin Allgaier as well. Yep. So the GMS teammates coming down. Allmendinger, Sorensen. Four car. Whoa! Problems for Matt DiBenedetto. He is sideways. Just out of the triable into turn number one. I don't think the caution is going to come out. Pace car is not moving, and yes, it is out. Caution is out for the number 16 of Matt Benedetto Roush Racing 3M Ford Fusion. 
Not good for De Benedetto. Don't know what happened, so let's go ahead and take a look at the race replay. Keep an eye on that 16. A silver car up on the outside here. Look at the run Austin Hill gets. It looks like De Benedetto goes up to block him and end up ends up getting turned by the 13. Not a good move by De Benedetto's part to block that at all whatsoever. But luckily, it doesn't look like he's all that damaged, and he should be able to continue on here tonight around. Reed Sorensen is going to be your race leader, along with the 91 of AJ Allmendinger and the 25. Dustin Flores, your top three. Tyler Reddick, Justin Allgaier round out your top five. Big gains here on the pit stop. Looks like Marvin Day had a pretty solid stop. He's just outside of the top five there, the mobile one Toyota Camry. Yeah, Dave Dunn, he is going to be a lap down. Bobby Merritt, it looks like he blew an engine here. For what I am seeing, he is out of the race. And A.J. Young, he is also a lap down. And Corey Battle and Dane Dunn, those two are going to be close together here. Lap, going down a lap wise. All right, here we go, pace car. Going to be pulling back off the speedway this time around. Let's see what these drivers are up to here. Green flag is back out here at Daytona.
and welcome back to Daytona. I hope you guys enjoyed that a little bit of a crank it up. I think these engine chains are fantastic. Dustin Flores now trying to take the race lead here with seven laps to go. Coming to six to go this time around. Kyle Larson led the previous lap. We've had a bunch more lead changes now. Alex Bowman currently has the fastest lap with a 55.577. Good run for him. Flores is going to lead the lap. Briscoe, he's looking for it though. Dustin Flores, that is his first lap led of the race. Nearly four wide for second. Briscoe going to get stuck on the top shelf. Here comes AJ Allmendinger. He has currently led the most laps to the bottom. Problems in the back. Dustin Griffith all the way to the bottom of the track. No caution. He didn't wreck. He's going to merge back up the track. Corey Battle all over the place at number 82. Jesus. That 82 all over the place. And as the lead change happened, now it's A.J. Allmendinger and Reed Sorensen back to being first and second. That is AJ's ninth lap led of the race. He has this most laps led locked up now with that. With five laps to go here at Daytona. No, no, six laps to go, sorry. Kyle Larson looking to get around that 42 machine. Just doesn't have a whole lot of... Help from Justin Allgaier. I just realized I misspelled his name on his windshield thing. So I will get that fixed come time for the race. Reed Sorensen now. He is taking the race lead over AJ Allmendinger. Remember Dane Dunn. He is not on the lead lap. So he can't contend for the win here. But he can try to get himself back on the lead lap. Here he comes to the inside of Sorensen. This is only going to help Kyle Larson, though, as he is now looking for the race lead. Larson doesn't have any help on the bottom. That's going to allow Dane Dunn to clear him and maybe give Sorensen a good run here out of turn number four. Larson looking to lead his second lap of the day. And it looks like he's going to do so. Sorensen with no help from behind doesn't really have anything to go with him. Just four laps to go now. Larsa is going to get stuck in the center. Here comes Dustin Griffith to the inside for the race lead. Is Daniel Berry going to make a move? He is. Three wide for the race lead almost. Griffith able to control the lanes here. Briscoe looking for it. Justin Allgaier. Alex Bowman on the bottom. Three laps to go now. Briscoe to the inside for the race lead. He's there. Dane Dunn controlling this draft right now. Alex Bowman trying to get a run. Here comes Christopher Bell and Marvin Day on the inside. Briscoe to the bottom trying to get Bowman to come with him here. Briscoe is close to his teammate as the 15 of Daniel Berry, but he is on the fall backwards right now. Chase Briscoe bringing us to two laps to go here at Daytona. But Alex Bowman, he is looking for the race lead. Not quite able to get to the inside. Two laps to go. Bowman, he's going to be able to dart to the inside. But look who's there. It's Christopher Bell in the 45 for Jermaine Racing. Looking for his first career win of 2029. He's now moving up, though. Can Marvin Day get to his inside? He's there. Marvin Day, he's going to take over the race lead now. 
As we're coming to the white flag now, folks, can Larson or AJ Allmendinger get to the inside of Marvin Day and maybe make a run for it? Larson moves up. AJ, can he slip to the inside here? He will. But Marvin Day, white flag, one more lap to go. What in the world was David Reagan thinking? Three cars just died there, but... Caution was already out beforehand. Oh, a lot of damage on the 54 of Justin Allgaier. What in the world happened? Here is the replay of what happened between the 54 and the 70. It looks like the 54 came down into the 78. And he went back down into traffic collected Austin Hill and Jaden Salas. And that was just the first incident. And then later on, coming to the checkered flag, or not the checkered flag, but coming to the yellow flag, David Reagan decided to go down to the bottom where a bunch of cars were pitting. So as you can see here, there's David Reagan on the bottom right now. And then he just shoots to the... Oh, it looks like Reed Sorensen made contact with him there. Which caused him to go down into those... Lap cars and in turn wreck the 49 of Matt Sanchez and the 86 of Carson Josefar. Josefar has a lot of damage to his back end there. Yikes. That is going to make this race end under caution flag as Marvin Day and Kyle Larson are going to be your front two tonight. With AJ Allmendinger, Christopher Bell, and Daniel Barry, your top five. And that's going to be Dustin Griffith, Dustin Flores, Alex Bowman, Reed Sorensen, Chase Briscoe, and then the 64 of Amanda Wade, Tyler Reddick, the 82 of Corey Battle is a lap down. There's Reddick. I mean, the rest of the field, they're already in the pits or something. Whoa. Calm down, guys. What? This was a crazy, crazy race. As Marvin Day brings his car around, we're going to come in just a few seconds. We're going to see him burn it down big time here at Daytona as he got his first career win at the Daytona 500. And here comes Marvin Day to do his brass. Whoa, locking him up there, coming to the line. He's going to burn it down big time for his big win here in Daytona. And that is going to be the celebration from Marvin Day getting the Daytona 500 win. And that is going to end it off for today's video as well. If you did enjoy it, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be Thursday. See ya.